Welcome to TSC. I'm James Marchington, and this is our weekly news programme, out every Tuesday. So what's in the news this week? Well, the game season's finally here, although it's off to a slow start after a poor breeding season for the grouse. Scott Barnett won the Parazzi Sporting Grand Prix at the weekend. And here at the Oxford Gun Company, the Browning August Challenge is in full swing, and there's still time to win one of three Browning 525s. All that and more coming up after this. The 2018 game season kicked off yesterday, a day later than the traditional 12th of August, because this year that date fell on a Sunday. Normally on the first day of the season there'd be grouse shoots all across the uplands of Britain. But this year many moors have cancelled their grouse shooting because the extreme weather has meant a catastrophic breeding season for the birds. It's a blow for local economies as well as shooters. Grouse shooting is reckoned to be worth £100 million to England, Scotland and Wales. Bass chairman Peter Glenser points out that grouse moors will continue their vital conservation work despite the financial hit. Gamekeepers will remain in post, he said, and the uplands they can serve will continue to support not just grouse, but a whole host of other often threatened wildlife. He reckons it could be another two or three years before some moors see a sustainable surplus of grouse and can start shooting again. Meanwhile, the season for partridge, duck and geese opens on the 1st of September, with pheasants a month later. If you're interested to find out more about game shooting, take a look at the Basque website, basque.org.uk, and check out some of the recent videos on this channel too. Scott Barnett shot a terrific 144 to win the Parazzi Sporting Grand Prix at Mid Wales at the weekend. It was a tremendous result for Billy Bourne too, who took the runner up spot with 141, one ahead of George Digweed in third place. For the full results, see the Mid Wales page on Facebook. Here at the Oxford Gun Company, the Browning August Challenge is in full swing. It runs all this month, finishing on Saturday the 1st of September. You can shoot the 100 bird sporting course with any gun, it doesn't have to be a Browning, and there are three Browning 525 shotguns to be won, one each in open, juniors and ladies and members. Plus the popular Browning Rabbit Mania is on throughout the month too. If you're planning to shoot during the week, you'll need to book your slot. So call 01844 238 308. Plus there's all the usual activities going on at the ground throughout August, including Young Shots Instruction Days and some special summer offers on Have A Go Days. And with the game season coming up, there's the chance to brush up your skills on a special course of game and driven targets in association with Alan Payne Clothing. For more details, check out the Oxford Gun Company on Facebook or see oxfordguncompany.co.uk. Looking ahead to next month, it's the big Oxford Festival of Shooting on Saturday the 22nd of September. Entry's free and it's going to be a great day out for all the family with demonstrations, trade stands and have a go at clay shooting, air guns and archery. Dogs are especially welcome, and there are scurries you can enter on the day. As well as a local scout group, there'll be demonstrations of stone wall building and muzzle loaders. Exhibitors include Fausti shotguns and Didito boots. Plus that day is also the next competition in the TSC series, which is getting started again after its summer break. There are some great prizes to be won on the day, and it's a qualifier towards the grand final in December when two under-21s will be winning a car each, courtesy of our sponsors Lodge Hill Garage and MG Cars. For the latest updates on the festival, check out the Oxford Gun Company Facebook page. And for more on the TSC series, see the schoolschallenge.co.uk. Now, here's our pick of the latest shooting videos on YouTube. Dave Carey is aiming to uncover the facts about shooting high birds, with the aid of some party balloons, a spool of fishing line, and a rangefinder. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. Well, that's it for this week's news. Thanks for watching. As always, we're back on Thursday with our next video, 
so make sure you tune in to watch that one. Remember to check out the Oxford Gun Company Facebook page to see what's coming up. You'll see they're recruiting just now, so if you fancy working in the shooting industry, check that out too. And in the meantime, do please support our sponsors when you're shopping for a gun, cartridges, clothing and so on. See you Thursday. <laughs>